Hello guys, welcome back. We're not done with Lost Judgment yet. We are going to be starting today the Kaito Files DLC for Lost Judgment. This game is just a gift that keeps on giving, isn't it? The base game was amazing. The school stories uh, conclusion was amazing. And so many emotions, so many wonderful characters, such great storytelling. And today we're going to start another smaller adventure, but I'm sure it's going to be just as exciting as anything else, and I am really pumped to get this started. So let's play the Kaito Files. Hope you guys enjoy, and see you guys in the comments. We're back. Back in Kamurocho, I think. <laughs> Oshino. Let me know how the volume is. Hope coming down here to meet me wasn't too inconvenient for you, Hoshino-san. I'm Senda from Bato Detective Agency. Shiro Senda. Uh, so... You were kind of vague on the phone. Why is he wearing sunglasses? What were you trying to get at? You really don't know what this is about? Rocking those shades at this time of night is telling me a different story, son. Mark of a guilty conscience. I assure you that's not the case. Anyway, what did you want to discuss? It's what I was telling you over the phone. We got a request from Saori Shirasaki to look into you, but... I figured I'd do you a solid and let you see what I found before I reported back to my client. Yeah, but what's this? <laughs> you don't recognize your girl? We snapped a quick pic when she came to the office. No way. Why would sorry, son? The way I hear it, you two are getting engaged soon, so you can finally tie the knot. <gasps> Sometimes women get cold feet, you know? They just want to know what they're getting into. I see it all the time. You're Okay, then. So, what did you find, sir? <laughs> I haven't done anything that would incriminate me. And this is a violation of detective client privilege. You're breaking the rules. Oh, no, that's You're a breaking good the one, law. <laughs> as I'd expect from a lawyer. But, Hoshino, you really think you can bluff your way out of this shot? <gasps> well, well, well. I do believe that's you strolling out of a Kamurocho love hotel, Slugger. Uh, One last fling before the big day? <laughs> Hope you made it worth your time. What? This is... You've got it all wrong! Whoa, whoa, take it easy, would ya? Come on, Hoshino-san. We don't have to play by courtroom rules here. It's simple. I can make this whole thing disappear for you. The only reason lawyers don't go to hell is because they can afford not to. In other words, you're saying I have to pay you now to delete that picture? Nothing I love more than a fast learner, kid. Four million yen. Damn! This goes up in smoke, and the client never has to hear anything to the contrary. Four million yen? I don't have that oh, kind no, of money! Oh, Snow, explain yourself! Your whole damn future is riding on this deal I'm making you. It's a small price to pay, isn't it? Yeah, but... Hey, Hoshino. Would you prefer that I send this to your office with a nice little bow? I... So, you take the client's money up front. Then you shake down the mark for another four million on top. Man, you corrupt detectives really rake it in, don't you? What are you wearing? Oh, fuck. Shit. You are... You were in the Why is he a disguise? And you're Shiro Senda. You were a former lieutenant in the Bato family. And right now, you're on my turf. Kaito-san, that was my acting. Not bad if I say so myself. Huh? Acting? One of your old clients came to us to help her get her money back. As it turns out, your little extortion racket has been getting around. Oh. And that's why Oshinokun and Saori-san put together a three-act play. But are they not getting engaged? All that's left to do is bag your ass with it. 
Ain't that right, Hoshino-kun? Yep. I got the whole thing on tape. Hey. What are they getting engaged? All right. <laughs> That'll be four million yen you took from your client, plus three hundred thousand for annoying me. You need to hit an ATM. <laughs> Damn. Get back here. We get to play as Kaito. You ain't getting away. About chases, okay. I think I remember. <laughs> nope. Clearly not. No parkour here. Not Yagami level parkour anyways. It's just like, move, move. <laughs> move it. I'm <laughs> coming through. <laughs> Big guy, coming through. It just <laughs> goes right through it. files everyone shit good still in one piece oh, shit now then send us some your office is in Kamarocho, right how about you give me a little inside tour this about boss I I kind of screwed up I know you you're with the Matsugane family the name's Kaito and I'm with the Yagami detective agency now <laughs> you call this dump an office it's got the scent of illicit Yakuza business all over it you trying to scare your clients I take it you're not one of those clients. What do you want? You the head honcho around here? Igarashi's the name. I'm the Bato Detective Agency's chief consultant. Igarashi. You mean the Bato family, right? Didn't you guys used to call yourselves the Tojo Clan R&D? You dig up dirt on cops and their families. All to twist the long arm of the law. Seems going legit hasn't taught you a damn thing. And it's making us real detectives look bad. That shit won't fly around me. Hate to burst your bubble, but we got a customer satisfaction rate of over 80%. So kindly take your bitching and blow it out your ass. Then why don't I cut to the chase? I'm here for the million yen you grifted out of my client. Plus, 300 grand for the trouble. Make it snappy, and I'll leave a souvenir. You're screwed more than sideways if the cops hear it. Senda, you clusterfuck. <sighs> Real sorry. Well... I suppose I should give you credit for leading a competitor right to us. We can throw down, but fair warning, I'm tacking on extra for the ass whooping. All right, cut the yapping. 
Shut this idiot up permanently. Here we go. Okay. Bruiser style. Bruiser's balanced battle style with a focus on hand-to-hand -hand combat. Kaito can unleash a resolute counter after taking a hit, and he can learn a skill to repel attacks, leaving enemies exposed. Excellent for evasive actions and chaining multiple quick steps together. Okay, hand-to-hand. -hand. Repel. Okay. I think I should just <laughs> I think it's best if we just Oh god. Come on, you done already? How do I do that? Damn! I don't... I, I don't think I can do much right now. <laughs> Looks like our total comes out to one and a half million. Pretty lean for a business that was about to go under. You'll get yours someday, Kaito. Mark my words. <laughs> That's what they all say. I can't believe you got my money back from those crooks. How can I ever thank you? No need. I was just taking out the town garbage. Your husband wasn't even cheating on you, was he? No. But they still threatened to tell him I booked an investigation. Believe me, you're not alone here. There's been a recent uptick of con artists operating as detectives. See, normally, ex-Yakuza have to wait five years before they can open a detective business. So they'll often skirt the law by setting up a civilian to be the agency's owner. I see. Actually, I did find it strange how much cheaper they were than other agencies. Well, with the Yagami Detective Agency, we don't charge a yen until you see results. We're a name you can trust. So... Next time you need to keep tabs on your man, don't hesitate to swing on by. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'll be fine for now. I've chosen to trust my husband, but thank you. Yeah. Probably for the best. <laughs> by the way, Hoshinoku, how are things really going with Saori san yeah, when's the well, wedding? As far as I'm concerned, I'm in it for the long haul. <gasps> oh. But sometimes I can't help but wonder if we're actually even together. You guys have been dating, what, three years? Never thought about getting hitched? Of course. 
At least, I, I have. As for whether Saori-san would be receptive to the idea... Uh... Come on, man. Doubton's only gonna drive her away. Show her you're a man with a plan. Yeah. Maybe you're right. I'll make it happen this year. Let's do it. And Let's I'll go. For you now. Great. Uh, on that note, I'd better get going. I still have some work left at the office. How after how many years of dating do you guys think is like a good a good time to get married? Looky here. It's talk. Sorry, Kaito-san. This job for Genda Sensei is looking like it's gonna take another couple days. Can you keep an eye on the place till I get back? That divorce mediation giving you trouble? Yeah, the husband wasn't having it, and on top of that, he took their son with him off into the mountains and got lost. I was in the search party. Would you believe a freaking bear showed up? Did you call Saijima? Damn, sounds like a mess. Did you find the guy? Yeah, but the moment we did, he ran off with his son again. We're gonna try again tomorrow. Gotcha. Well, good luck. Guess I'm on my own for now. Well, I got nothing going on. Maybe I'll see if anyone wants to grab drinks. Let's see, who do I want to call? Ghostbusters! Higashi, Sugira, and Sukumo, or Ho Hoshino. What? All of them! Can I do them all eventually? We gotta go with Higashi. Oh, let's go with Higashi. Your parents married after six months? At least one year? 14 years? How? Wait. Because Bondo and I were dating for eight years before we got married. Yeah. Eight years. 30 minutes? Two to three years is good? Oh, I see, Soul Blazer. Eight months? Wow. Wow. Um, when we met, when Husbando and I met, we were in high school. So we had to wait at least a few years, you know? And how many years was he aware that he was dating you? <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> well, we met when I was 16, but he was, he was like 14 or 15. So we had to wait at least like three, three or four years until we were both like 18. Okay, let's go with Higashi. Hell yeah, Higashi be over in a flash. Wait, are they all gonna decline? What's the good word, Kaito Anaki? Just thought you might want to go have a drink. Right now? Yeah, thing is, I kind of have a dinner meeting tonight. Oh, well, I could a come to that. dinner meeting? <laughs> Sounds pretty fancy for an arcade manager. Yeah, you're telling me. See, the thing is, we're opening up a new location in Eugene Show. 
Oh. And she hit it off with a guy who rents us our equipment. Turns out he's a CEO looking to invest. Whoa. So you'll be the owner of two arcades? Looks like it. Damn. Look at you moving up in the world. And Charles is going to be yeah, a household well, name be soon. I'd rather knock one back with my Aniki. Aww, uh, you me do too. Your thing. Some other time, okay? Sounds good, Aniki. Oh, almost forgot. I heard this from one of the part timers at Charles, but apparently some kid came looking for you. Some kid? I guess. I wasn't the one who saw him. But evidently, this punk had some fight in him. Our guys chased him out before he could start any shit. What the hell's a kid like that want with me? You tell me, man. But not right now. I, I gotta prep for that meeting. Yes, Higashi is pretty slammed. But hey, if business is a booming, then I'm happy for him. Okay, we'll try Sugira and Sukumo. Yagamishi. They're not even gonna answer. You've oh. reached Yokohama 99. Yo, it's Kaito. Wanna go get drinks? You, me, and Sugiura? Ah, uh, I'm afraid Sugiura, she's not available. Right now, he's out looking into an affair. Huh. Okay. What about you? It's been a while, you know. Ah, uh, well, I do appreciate the invite. Tonight's not good for me either. It's not? How come? <laughs> because the night is reserved for anime. A very special one. It's the premiere of Love Star 3, the movie, Director's Cut Edition. <laughs> I can hardly contain myself. Oh, come on, an anime? Can't you just record the damn thing? I don't think you get it, Kaito-san. A premiere only happens once, and then it's history. Mm-hmm. You have I to get watch you. the stream while it's live and keep the chat turned on. That's yep. the experience. Yep. Huh? You gotta do what now? Oh, <laughs> I know. Kaito <laughs> Sukumo knows what's like, up. I can add you to our Love Star community. Yeah, that let's do it. Voice chat online while you have your drink at home. It's a win-win. <laughs> I'm sure my friends would love to welcome you. Yeah, Sukumo. I don't know. This sounds like a lot to me. I think I'm gonna sit this one out. Gosh, I was just about to give you a breakdown on Love Star's deeper themes. Oh well. Dodged a bullet there. <laughs> Stream's about to go live. Until uh, next time. You can't just like watch. I mean, I know it's it's just but a memory, but you can't just like watch E3. Like you can't just watch it after. Like you gotta watch it live, okay? Otherwise, you'll see spoilers all over the internet. You won't get the live experience. You won't get the chat. Love Star, huh? Maybe I'll check it out sometime. No, you won't. <laughs> all right, let's try Hoshino. We're desperate. Hoshino's our last <laughs> ditch effort. Kaito-san? Is everything okay? Yeah, just thought we could grab a drink. Oh, well, uh, like I said before, I still have work to do. Hell, you're not done yet? Not even close. Plus, Saori-san needs my help after this, so... Yeah, I get it. Can't tear a man away from the love of his life. Something like that. Anyway, let's try some other time. No luck with him either. Go out for a drink solo. Guess everyone's busy. Well, Aww. I could always show my face at Tender. Maybe I'll bump into someone I know. We are being blessed with a whole DLC of the Kaito ass. Peek. Peak gaming experience. Huh? What's that smell? Using primal focus. 
Like a feral beast, Kaito's senses of sight, smell, and hearing are superior to that of the average person. Sharpen your senses with primal eye, primal nose, and primal ear to identify anything suspicious in the area. Ooh. You can also use primal focus while walking around town without being in active search mode. Okay. Kitty. I. Oh, I need to switch between them. Oh, hey, a cat. You're a cute little fellow. Bloody crest. 500 SP. Well, okay, I guess there I might find a way to get prompted when I might want to look for this stuff cuz I'm not going to just walk around with it on all the time. It's just annoying, right? Let's see. Skills. Oh yeah. Yes, here we go. Bruiser. Stats, boost health, EX. Gifted brawler. Gain 100% more SP after battle. Well, we better start this early, right? EX full swing. Oh, not enough SP. Bruiser. Press square just as an enemy attacks. Using his primal instincts, Kaito deflects an enemy attack. Ineffective against deadly attacks and weapons. Okay. A square just as the enemy attacks. We'll grab that. Oh, what's going on here? The cops. What's going on? Oh my gosh, was someone murdered? Don't know. Could have been a Yakuza, maybe. But I thought the Tojo clan was long gone. A murder. God damn, I really need that drink. So murder happened... Cute one. Beauty and... Relaxing time. I think is what it says. So this is right across the street from bartender. Okay. <laughs> Kaito-san, come join us. You by yourself? Yeah. Talks out of town helping Genda sensei Says he'll be gone another couple days. Aha. Uh -huh. So is the sidekick getting lonely without the leading man? <laughs> In your dreams, Mari. Masuda, the usual. See any shit going down outside? I overheard someone talking about a murder. Ah, that. Apparently, the victim was a young executive. Actually, there was a similar case a few days ago. It caused quite a stir. I believe the man was a CEO. Some killers out to eat the rich, huh? Who knows? Crazy world out there. Uh, speaking of which, did you finish the job I found you? Oh, I kicked the crap out of those swindlers. And Hoshino-kun put on quite the show. Really? Oh, I wish I could have seen the pros at work. No one else? I think Hoshino-kun and Saori-san are just about there. <laughs> Fellow was all riled up, saying this'll be the year. By that, you mean they're tying the knot? Yeah. The question is, will Saori-san give him a yes? She better. <laughs> I'd say she needs more time. If he rushes it, it might not turn out well. Yeah, I suppose your gut's usually right, Mari. What about you, Kaito-san? Any romance blooming in your life? <laughs> Whoa! Since when was this about me? <laughs> because you clearly have no trouble talking to women. 
But I never hear what happens in the end. What happens in the end is rejection. Yeah? Well, maybe I like being a free agent. You call it rejection. I call it release. <laughs> I like being rejected. <laughs> Even if I do keep getting shot down. So what? Every beauty who walks away is only making room for the next one. Oh, Kaito-san. To also You're walk away? You're going to a lonely old man at this rate. Mm -hmm. Honestly, Mari, that's all talk. Once Kaito-san falls in love, he falls so hard he can't even see straight. Why, I recall a time he even considered getting married. You're kidding! Kaito-san, a husband? Yo, could we not go there? Oh, shoot, her name was on the tip of my tongue. I suppose it's been over a decade now. You two were living together, right? I think her name... Masada, look, that's a long story. Some other time, okay? Hmm? Oh. Sure thing. By the way, you got any more gigs? We've been dry thanks to those fake detectives, so if you could hook it up. Actually, that reminds me. A man came by asking about you. He said he was looking for someone. He wanted me? Specifically? I don't know the details, but he wants to meet you. He's the CEO of some tech company. Oh, a tech company, eh? What's the offer? He said he's prepared to pay two million up front. Two Cha -ching. million? Well, well, that's mighty generous. Apparently, it's for any investigation expenses that come up. And when it's done, he'll pay an extra 20 million. 20 million? What? Depending on the outcome, he might pay even more. <laughs> he must be swimming in cash. Holy hell. Sounds like a tempting offer, but do you really want to do it alone? Especially with your boss out of town. True. Well, yeah, then he's gonna go to our <laughs> One competitors. Look at you and the client might drop the case and run. Huh. Right? At least find a smart looking jacket to cover whatever that is. Hey! Oh, indeed. You'll need to dress for the occasion, that's for sure. Kaito dress up Man, time? You guys have no faith in me, huh? Well, I'm not putting on a show for him or anyone else. True style doesn't change with the tides. Not to mention, it's the heart that counts. Watch me knock this guy's socks off, just being plain old Kaito. Changes style. <laughs> this tea is about to expire. Oru Hiyashi. Hey, Banaki, what's with the suit and tie? What? I thought I'd pull out all the stops for today's client. Dress for the occasion. After all, a pro's got to look the part, too. I mean, yeah. But you never give a rat's ass about that stuff. So I start now. Today's just special, all right? 20 million yen kind of special. Okay, but do you really need me here? Don't you get it? If I'm busy talking this guy up, who's going to offer some tea? The landlady? Yeah, who's gonna offer him the expired tea? He poured in the Matsugane family for years. The boss loved your tea, remember? Whoa, hang on. That was a long time ago. Well, I'm counting on you today. I'm paying you 50,000 just to serve two people. 
Coming from you, that's pretty generous. How much is this gig worth, anyway? Uh, that's a matter of... Uh, detective client privilege. Hey, he's here. <clears throat> uh, come in. Hello there. I'm Kyoya Saramoto, CEO of Image Interactive. Thanks for having me. Saramoto. Thanks for coming. I'm Masaharu Kaito, an investigator here. I'm Higashi, just a part-timer. It really is great to meet you, Kaito-san. I've heard so much about you. Good things, I hope? Of course. You're a legend in these parts, aren't you? Not so sure about that. Oh, but first, please, take a seat. He has very... Enjoy. Interesting features. Ah, why, thank you. Well then, like, he doesn't look uh, Japanese. We business? I understand you're looking for someone. Uh, may I ask who? Or like he's that mixed or something. That would be my wife. My deceased wife, actually. Your deceased wife? Pretty weird right off the bat. I'm gonna need more details. What's up, Patrick? How you doing? How's everyone doing tonight? I'm good. I beat Donkey Kong Country too, so... I'm just very glad that that is over it was fun but i'm glad it was over i'm glad it's over mm -hmm. how about you patrick ask about his wife ask about compensation so <laughs> about this money and we'll ask about his wife first let's get the deets can you give me some more details i was under the impression she went missing well i lost her about two years ago she took her own life. I see. Is this another bullying I'm thing? Very sorry. Let me rephrase then. You want us to find her, even though you know she passed away? Yes. Well, why don't I start from the time she died? Two years ago, my wife left a suicide note at home one day and disappeared. As you can imagine, I went right to the police. Upon finding nothing, she was declared a missing person. Six months later, they recovered a body, possibly my wife's, on a riverbed in the mountains of Chiba. There's a large waterfall nearby, from which she likely jumped. Her body was decomposed beyond recognition. But authorities later identified her based on something she was carrying. And what was that? A photograph. In it was her and our son. I see. But was that really enough to ID her? Wouldn't they have done some sort of analysis? Yes. I requested a DNA test be performed. Lo and behold, my wife was a near-perfect match. Then, at that point, her death was all but certain. Yet, you still believe she's alive? About a month ago, my wife's friend said she saw someone in Kamurocho that looked like her. This woman, according to my wife's friend, was with some unfamiliar man. And when the friend called out her name, she froze. Then she immediately fled. Oh, juicy. Is it possible this was all just a coincidence? Believe me, I considered that. The DNA test had more or less cemented her death in my mind. But then I started doing my own research, and I found that DNA test results aren't always set in stone. Especially in cases where the body's in an advanced state of decomposition, the results can vary widely. I even came across an astonishing article in which someone's lost relative showed up after a DNA test said they died. After reading that, who wouldn't have hoped that their dear wife is still somewhere out there? But with some mm. other man? Mm. Mind you, 
This woman was the spitting image of my wife. Her voice was a perfect match, too. And this is coming from a friend who's known her for years. As she herself put it, there's no way it wasn't her. I get why he'd want to believe that, but if a DNA test confirmed it, probably just a damn close resemblance. Okay, let's ask about compensation. If I could inquire about the compensation, my contact at Tender quoted two million in advance, plus another twenty million upon completion. Yes. Regardless of the outcome, I intend to have at least that much prepared. At least. <laughs> oh, she knows. When I you mean, say he got at she. At least that Whatever. much. You mean? If you manage to find my wife safe and sound, I'll throw in another ten million. So. A grand total of 32 million? Neonaki, just checking. I'm being paid 50,000 today, right? Yeah, 50,000 for serving some damn tea. Got a problem? <laughs> no, it's fine. Now I see where all that generosity is coming from. Okay, further information. Uh, by the way, uh, may we request any photos of your wife? I've actually approached other detectives about this, but none of them could turn up any leads. Then I heard you were working as a detective, in Kamurocho no less. Immediately I thought to myself, if anyone can find my wife, it's him. Hey? Considering how well acquainted you are. Huh? What? You saying I know her? Anaki, isn't that... Is it Saudi? Mikiko? No. <laughs> yes. Mikiko Natsume was her maiden name. I understand you used to live together long ago. And that sums up why I'm here. Because of how intimately you know her. really going to go after what they did to the boss i can't just sit back and do nothing but you might actually get killed this time that's kaito without a i'm sorry beard so your family is more important than me i don't like it Believe what's me, wrong i understand how bizarre this request might be but i know you can get to the bottom of it You lived with Mikiko in this very town. You knew her better than anyone. Kaito-san, I'm begging you. Won't you bring her back? I'd heard rumors. But I never thought they'd be true. Sadamoto-san. Are you sure Mikiko took her own life? I mean... She did leave a suicide note. Why, though? The Mikiko I knew would never do that, no matter what the reason. Honestly, I wish I knew. The note was sparse on details. The hell does that mean? Aren't you supposed to be her husband? <sighs> For what my memory's worth. Mikiko seemed to have some anxieties about her job. And I was so busy with my own work at the time, I failed to give her support. I was hardly even home half the time. It was only when she left me that I realized how poorly I treated her. <sighs> so, let's say Mikiko is alive. Then what? It's gonna be one big happy reunion? I don't really have an answer for that. 
I doubt she'd even want to look at me. But then again, we do have our son to consider. He's 14 already. His name's June. So, Mikiko's got a kid and everything. Yes. And he's just as rambunctious as his mother. He took off once he heard she might be alive. Even though I specifically told him to stay put, the moment my back was turned, he was gone. Wait, he ran away? He did. About two weeks ago. I thought he might pull something like this, so I set up location tracking on his phone. But, being that he left his phone in his room, he must have figured that out. Didn't even take his phone? Outsmarted by a teenager, I swear. Two weeks on his own at his age? At 14, he's what, in middle school? June pulls this kind of stunt all the time. He hangs out with these delinquents, often couch surfing for days at a time. Of course, I'm one to talk. Since most days, I miss the last train. And since I'm at a hotel, I won't even be home to notice he's gone. Well, how about that? Look, that's all beside the point. Right now, I need your help. Hate to break it to you, Sadamoto-san. But I don't think I'm your guy. What? May I ask how come? I just... don't think I'm cut out for it, is all. Come now! That's final. Fine. Fine. I know when a mind's made up. What a shame that is. Damn. This got really, like, heavy really fast. Monaki, you sure you want to let this guy go? That's 32 mil walking away. Yeah. Not to mention the truth about Mikiko. I know what I'm doing. Do you? Okay, you're the boss. So it looked like he... Kaito left her? Down the shitter. I think that calls for a drink. You, uh, want somebody to tag along? Sure, but weren't you slammed with the new opening and all? Well, I mean, yeah, there's work to be done. I'd have to go inspect the place after. Right. Then you better go deal with that. Glad to hear business is good, though. Sorry about that, Anaki. Oh, and about that 50 grand I owe you. Don't even worry about it. <laughs> she was on the house today, man. When my Anaki says four, I serve the best damn cup you ever tried. That shit hasn't changed. Oh, Higashi. You wonderful bastard. He's the best. Huh? Hey, Anaki, that photo. Ah, uh, he left it. Don't just leave your junk in my office. <sighs> Should I just toss it? Well, wouldn't be the first gig I tossed. Better head on down to Tender and see what else Masada's got brewing. 
Come on, let's go look for her. I'm ready. <laughs> Chapter one. What goes around? Does it come around? Perhaps? So the cutscene made it sound like Kaito wanted to avenge his Yakuza boss and he argued with Mikiko about it and left her and she probably didn't forgive him for that. Yeah. He probably left to go do his thing and then like she was go she just like took off never to be heard from again. We have a very interesting little thing going on here already with a lost love of Kaito. Mikiko? So let's head back to bartender. Kaito's got to take this job. Ooh, that looks like it hurt. Oh, we got some blood on this poor person's car. It's fine. It's gone. Do I have enough um, money for a little snack? I can get something. A little something, something. I can't even... Well, that's expensive. Oh, this is the cat shit. The cat pooped coffee. Let's get something cheap. Let's get the blended coffee. I guess there's not... I don't know if there's a point of like... Eating food specifically at restaurants Delicious. in this DLC. Okay. Thank you for the coffee. Sorry, I couldn't afford your premium cat shit cow, uh, coffee. Hi, Mir. Yeah, it's the thing I learned about it from playing Persona. I'm sure somebody could give the details better than me but from what i remember the they what do they do do they the cats eat the coffee beans and then shit them out and then it i don't remember how it works i <laughs> probably got it all wrong but it's really expensive basically yes okay yeah so the cats eat the coffee beans and then shit the beans out then they use that to make coffee and they charge a hell of a lot and i guess it tastes good i don't know if you're into like sucking cat butt <laughs> i don't know yanaki you got a minute what's up higashi yeah so i just got a call from charles Remember how I told you about that kid who came by looking for you? Oh. Yeah, what about him? Well, he's back and causing problems like usual. Can you go take care of him? He's just some punk-ass kid. Why don't you take care of him? Because I got meetings and shit to deal with. My employee's in there on her own. <sighs> I really gotta handle some kid? It's Mikiko's son. You're just gonna abandon a college girl in trouble? Huh? Oh, I see. You almost got me with that one, dipshit. You think I'd lie to you? Seriously, she's young, she's single. Cute, too. <laughs> Are you sure about that? Yep. Oh, did I mention she's way into beards? She says she likes him bearded and burly. Guess I have no choice. If a lady, uh, if my bro needs my help, I guess I gotta go save the day. You're a lifesaver, Anaki. I'm counting on you here. Okay, time to help out Higashi. Kaido! <laughs> Don't be so easily manipulated. It's a 
very uh, heavy metal sounding song here that we have for Kaito's com bruiser combat. And it's over. You would not drink the cat poop coffee? People pay premium price for that. Okay, so the cats are fed the beans and then they shit it out and then it's refined with other stuff. It's done it's done to elephants also, from what I hear, it makes a very rich and bitter coffee. There you go. There you go. Who would try it? Uh, got a little workout in You're about to go to bed and you hear cat poop. Thanks for the visual. You're welcome. Oh, Kaito smells the Something shit. Stinks. Kaito says, is someone drinking coffee around here? I smell your cat poop coffee from a mile away. <laughs> You Something hate it here? Smell. No, you love it here. You don't lie. Don't lie. What have we here? You can smell those Matsugane family crests. Jeez, there's a lot of street punks around here. I love how there's just like no explanation. <laughs> <laughs> to why these people are just jumping a kaito it's like yeah you played enough yakuza games already you should probably know by now there's people are just gonna jump you they're just gonna jump you and it's fine you guys are trying to ruin my dessert with your cat poop coffee talks what are you eating for dessert right now Dairy Queen Blizzard with Oreo Chips Ahoy and Nutter Butter. Yo, that sounds good. All right, let's go see this kid. Causing trouble for my boy Higashi. How dare he? And the cute college girl that's probably not even there. I'm not messing around. I'll kill you, you little whoop. Damn. Talk about a shit show. You can relax now, miss. I'm taking over from here. <laughs> Are you Yakuza? No, actually, I was sent by the owner, Higashi. What's going on here? Well, those men were being disgusting, but then that boy stood up for me. I'd rather be a wimp than a total piece of shit, not to mention an ugly one. Say that again, you brat! <laughs> <laughs> Too slow, dumbass! The knife is out. That's it. I'm covering oh. you up like a pumpkin. Step back, bud. <laughs> hey, I said step back. You don't want to get hurt, do you? <laughs> uh. Sorry. <laughs> Poor kid. Hold up. Did you just pass out on me? Guy with the knife uh, still behind you. Hey, miss. Mind getting this kid out of the way? Uh, uh, okay. Ah, uh, you taking his place, ape man? Then I'll just have to carve you up first. That's Mr. Ape Man to you. I just beat a giant alligator. So Higashi wants me to play bouncer. Eh? Then I guess it's time to dust off some old moves. Tank fighting style. Long ago when Kaito was a bodyguard for his patriarch, he'd come to his defense like a fully armored tank. Tank style combines a fierce weapon-based offense with an impenetrable defense. Grab and smash lets Kaito automatically pick up and strike a weapon with a uh, square, and he can weather attacks from any direction using iron guard. It sounds like, um, what was it called? Kiryu's beast mode or whatever. Tank style is also excellent for grabs with the right skills. Kaito can grab enemies in all sorts of situations. Oh, what are we doing to Higashi's 
place. Oh no. Well, beast mode was my jam in Yakuza 0, so. Let's do it up. And all of the arcade machines are just broken. <laughs> Whoopsie. Shoo. Take your dumb asses outside. Damn it! Hey, up and at him. Huh? Listen, you're a good kid for helping people, but taking on two grown-ass men is another story. Wait. Hey, you all right? Hit your head or something? What? Do I know you? Or, uh... Holy crap! It's you! You're Masaharu Kaito from the Matsugane family! Huh? Uh, yeah. Well, I've been out of the family for a while now, but, uh... Man, I've been looking all over for you. I'm Jun Satomoto. Satomoto? Why does that name... Uh-oh. His hair looks a little You're different. Mikiko's kid? <laughs> Guess we meet at long last. I heard you used to roll with the Matsugane family, so I've been asking people who looked apart the what they knew. <sighs> Should have seen my face when I found out you guys broke up. Okay, well, wanna tell me why Mikiko's kid is going around looking for me? Here's the deal, Kaito-san. I want you to find my mom. The, uh, say what? Yeah, I thought you might have a clue where she is. You two used to live together and all. Uh, uh, kid, let me be frank. I'm gonna tell you the same thing I told your pops. You're asking the wrong guy. Wait, my dad came to you about this? going home wait up dude what the heck i thought you were mom's ex don't you care about her at all she's nothing but a stranger to me now but listen we haven't heard from her in two years that's if she's still alive don't you think she's in some kind of trouble how should i know maybe she's having the time of her life without some brat all up in her business the hell Okay, back it up a sec. My mom would never desert me. Then where'd she go, huh? Get lost already. This kid's got spunk. I like it. I bet you just don't want to see her because she ditched your sorry ass. <sighs> I read all about it in her diary. How mom wanted you out of the Yakuza so she could marry you with a clean conscience. But then you went on some kind of dangerous mission. Better die a henchman than live as a husband, huh? And now you turn your back on her again? <laughs> no wonder you two are strangers! What? You wanna go? <laughs> this kid. <laughs> Might wanna ease up on the grown up act, kid. Anyway, your mom and I are ancient history. So unfortunately, I can't do anything for you. Kaito, he's so cute. Oh, Look at him. You I'm your son. Then what? You're still gonna walk away? You know, I was. What did you just say? I was considering that possibility, but I wasn't sure if the timelines would match I up say, or not. You and Mom might have had me. Wait, wait. This is total crazy talk. It was written in Mom's diary around the time you broke up. Her diary? Yeah. I read what happened after you went on some raid and you guys split. Apparently, she didn't get to tell you that I was a little fetus at the time. You gotta be shitting me. I am not shitting you. I actually think you're my dad. 
And they but the facial features the look like time. could be, right? Listen, why else would I be busting my ass to find you? Now come on! You and I are gonna go find mom, and then she'll tell you herself! Let's go! Man. These games really know how to suck me in, like, right? Just, they just know how to dig their claws into me. It's like... This guy's 14, but the the kid, they said he was 14, right? So I wasn't sure like when, it, when, um, how long ago Kaito was with this lady, but I was like, what if that's, what if that's like his son? Wouldn't that be crazy? And then I was looking at their faces when he first showed up, I was looking at his face, looking at his, like his eyebrows, his lips, like, I was like, mm, maybe. <laughs> Maybe. You thought her husband said they broke up about 10 years ago? 10 years ago? Well, about 10 years ago? Maybe give or take four years? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, but we'll see. Apparently, it, it's according to this kid, what he read in the diary. It could be. Oh, man. Is this going to be another... Reminds me of a movie I watched. Hmm. Where somebody thought they were some... Somebody... Like, somebody's kid, but then it turned out that they weren't. It was just another day in Kamurocho. After resolving a local incident, Kaito is approached by Kyoya Sadamoto, who asks him to search for his late wife Mikiko. Mikiko was Kaito's old flame, who parted ways with him long ago. Kaito turns Sadamoto down before any past wounds can reopen. But he soon finds himself face to face with Sadamoto's son, June. That's when June tells him the unthinkable, that Kaito might be his real father and we get higashi doing the recaps let's go 